My brothers and sisters, when a person loses a spouse, especially when they've been very close, it's a very difficult time. Life changes and so much happens suddenly and everything feels like a huge burden on the shoulder. There are days of sadness and sorrow, days of crying, days of missing your spouse and so on. So generally, Allah has kept a period for the women known as Al-Idda. Al-Idda meaning the waiting period or to a certain extent, a mourning period. Now, the mourning period is generally three days. But when it comes to a wife, Allah says, we know we created you. We know how your system works. We know what you need. We don't want you to marry immediately after the death of your spouse. We want you to wait for a period of four months and 10 days minimum. Why? Why? Why should I? Well, you should because Allah is telling you that we want you to do this. There will be healing in that time. Nobody will be able to take advantage of you. You will begin to see things much more clearer. You will be able to wind down the estate of your spouse. You will be able to uh, adjust to this new life of yours. And you'll be able to protect yourself from being taken advantage of during your vulnerable time. So Allah tells you, we want you to heal holistically, fully. You'll be able to replug with Allah. You'll be able to focus on what you want to do in the future. Do you really want to marry? Is it worth it? Yes, it may be. So Allah says, if you're ready after four months and 10 days, you can start taking the steps if you want. And if you don't, it's not compulsory. But Allah says, that period of idda is a blessing from us for you. It's not a prison sentence. And this is why a lot of the times women are made to feel that the idda is a prison sentence where you're not allowed to come out of the house at all. Well, for anything you consider a need or necessity, you're allowed to come out of the house. Let's get that correct. For anything you consider a need or a necessity, you're allowed to come out of the house. Allah doesn't want you to socialize outside of the house. So to go out for a social purpose is not considered a necessity because Allah wants to protect you. Imagine your husband just died and the very next day or a few days later, you're just partying, enjoying with your friends. I mean, you need to be protected. Allah wants to protect you. No one must point finger at you that you had any role to play in the death of your spouse. This is just one of the examples. It has happened to people, even from our own communities, where people begin to point dirty fingers, accusing their spouses of having had a role to play in the death of this, the one who passed on. Crazy people, but Allah wants to protect you from that. So Allah tells you, do you know what? Take it in your stride. You go through this period of healing. That's what it is. It's more healing than anything else. Grieving. Allah allows you the time to grieve, especially if you were very close. It's not all about just focusing on whether you're expecting a child or not. That can be sorted out in a minute. But it's more about something beyond that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to understand his blessings in everything. Like I said, it's not a prison sentence. If need be, you may go out. Sometimes even if you're claustrophobic and even if you're living in a very small home where it's just a room and your yard is not good enough because sometimes in some countries you have a big yard. You can come out in the yard and you can enjoy yourself. And sometimes you don't have that yard. You're living in a high rise. Do you know that if you really feel psychologically, you feel the need uh, to go out in order to just freshen yourself, to gain your sanity and maintain it, you may do so. Don't let people tell you that that is totally prohibited when you're struggling and psychologically it's affecting your mind and your entire system. You just need a breather to get out of the house and here people are telling you it's totally prohibited. You can't move. You can't. Relax. Take it easy. Ask those who know, they will guide you. Subhanallah. It's not a prison sentence. Not at all. So don't make it seem like you've done something wrong, so you're in a jail. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding.